Hello everyone. Welcome back to JS Madras. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to use select by location tool in ArcGIS Pro. So, the select by location tools let you to select features based on their location relative to features in a in another layer. So, let us have a look at it. For instance, if you want to know how many homes were affected by recent floods, you could select all the homes that fall within the flood boundaries. So this is an example. Practically, let us see how it works. So first of all, select the tool, select by location, keep this aside. And so in the first example, we are going to see how many points are located near to this road network so I'm going to first put the input features so input feature is nothing but the feature which we are going which is gonna be selected okay so my target is the points nearer to the road so my input feature that is the features which is going to be selected is the input feature so I'm going to give sample locations okay now you can see relationship so in relationship there are a lot of options available intersect within within a distance okay likewise so in this case we are going to use within a distance and selecting features so based on which layer these points will be selected this my road network so here in this concept i am going to select the lo sample location near to the roads okay so here the search distance i am going to give is 2000 and i am going to use meters 2000 meters that is 2 kilometers new selection in the selection type there are many new selection if you you can remove the selections or uh, uh, invert the selections or subset from the current selections like this many functions are there first we are going to see new selection click apply so now you can see that four points is been selected these points are near to the road how much near we have assigned the value that is 2000 meters within 2000 meters these points are being located you can see these points are near to these roads that is why this has been selected if you give 5000 meters apply now you can see some more point has been added up okay so like this you can do select you can also invert this selection by choosing switch the current selection now you can see the inversion has been occurred the selected fields will be deselected and other fields will be selected like this also you can do now let us take another example so let me clear the selection now enable this district boundary and remove the roads so in this case I need the sample points within this boundary so let us see how to achieve that once again the input feature will be the sample location so in the input features this layer will be selected okay now I am going to select the relationship as intersect the layer intersecting will be selected in this function the selecting feature will be district boundary so the in this case I am going to select the points only falling within this boundary okay now let me remove this uh, search distance and let us click apply now you can see here only the points which is falling inside this boundary will be selected like this you can also check the uh, attributes the fields will be selected will be highlighted if you want you can just view only the selected records like this 
you can view it okay let us have a look at the other case clear selection let me remove the sample points and add the road layers so you can see now the uh, district boundary and road layers is being put in so in this case I am going to use another function here the feature selected will be roads okay and I am going to use a in relation I am going to use boundary touches okay the selecting features will be district boundary now the selection type will be new selection let me click apply so you can see here the roads touching boundary will only be selected you can see the roads that touching the boundary will be selected so like this you can do many more functions are available many more functions are available you can uh, use it according to your needs you can explore those things and many uh, options are available you can check it out you can also use remove from the current selection you can remove the particular layers as you can see here you can remove it not only selection you can remove it you can invert the selection you can invert the selection like this or if you are already already having the selection is already done means you can use this option if you want to do some more selection so you can use selection type as add to the current selection that can be done so thanks for watching if you have any other doubts on this please to ask in the comment section please to subscribe support us thank you